Hey friends, hey, welcome back to She's So Dramatic. Thanks so much for joining me for another video. Welcome to another day in the life or week in the life, depending on how many of these clips I string together. But welcome to my life as a new theater educator. Uh, today is Monday, July 5th, and I slept in a little bit today because we were up late, uh, just hanging out with family yesterday for the 4th. Um, we were able just to gather together and love on each other and celebrate each other because that's what we do on the 4th. We celebrate each other <laughs> um, and just had a good time together. My brother-in-law and his fiance and family are here from out of town, so got to hang out with them a bit. My boys and their cousins ended up um, losing interest in the fireworks real quick and they played basketball uh, until midnight. Uh, so we just sat around jaw jacking and watching the boys play uh, basketball and just had a good time together. So I ended up sleeping in this morning and I got a late start. But as you saw from the previous clip, I did manage to get a, a somewhat of a workout in. I was a little discouraged because my knee is bothering me. So I, I didn't get a chance to run like I wanted to on the treadmill but um i managed a a little speed walk uh, or i was i was i was switching hard <laughs> as i was walking um but that's all that i could do today so that was a little disappointing but i did get some arms in on the total gym so i did what i could i had a whole crying fit on the treadmill <laughs> i don't know i guess i just needed to release some emotions um so it was one of those kind of mornings but um yeah so kind of got a late start i just dropped my son off at work and now i'm waiting on a walmart pickup and then i think today i really need to get some reading done i've got to get some research done and um just some prep work i think is what i want to to concentrate on today Last week, uh, here's an update uh, for my progress last week. I was telling you that I realized I had six weeks left until um, I start in my new district. And so that week went by fast. Now I only got five weeks left. <laughs> and I don't want to count down in a way that is going to have me rushing my summer away. That's not the point of it. Um, but I do want to keep the time in mind. I do want to be mindful um of how much time i have to get prepared is what i'm trying to do so anyway um i also have made a goal for myself to lose some weight in these next uh, several weeks until school starts so last week i was able to get several workouts in and i tried to modify my eating as much as i could um and last week was when i realized i was having some knee pain so uh, I, I do have a brace, I just took it off. I have a knee brace that, that I use when I'm walking or running and that helps a little bit, but I just I think I just need to keep icing it and um, keep taking ibuprofen because I don't want anything to derail my progress because I really do want to try to lose this weight and um, reach my goal of losing 10 pounds before school starts. So, uh, what else is going on? Um, I think that's really all I have to update you on right now. Um, I want to, oh, I do have one other thing to update you on. So last week, um, in addition to everything else that's going on in my life, sheesh, I have... I have started a new side hustle and last week I had my first client and I was absolutely petrified <laughs> I was absolutely petrified but I made it through and so I'm super proud of myself for just jumping out there and getting started um, my side hustle is in the mortgage industry and so I've spent the last several months, um, really since January, um, taking some training and learning the laws in my state and um, 
becoming certified within several different organizations, earning that certification so that I am recognized as um, someone who has been trained and certified to do this job, which will attract more clients. So anyway, um, I had been, this whole time, I had been afraid to start accepting assignments <laughs> because I was suffering from imposter syndrome and just really worried that I just wasn't ready um, and wasn't as prepared as I wanted to be. But anyway, I got an assignment offer last week and I just said, you know what? I'm gonna accept it. I'm gonna jump out there. I'm gonna do the work. And that's the only way that I'm gonna learn. That's the only way that I'm going to feel more prepared is with practice and with doing it and with experience. So I was super excited and nervous as hell nervous as hell last week but I got through it that's the point of what I'm saying I got through it and so I just want to encourage anyone who is watching uh, that uh, the goals that you set for yourself can be attained when you put one foot in front of the other keep checking these goals off of your list and um, yeah don't stop don't stop do it scared and all do it anyway jump out there, take the risk, take the assignments, take the work, scared and all, still do it. So that was a big, a big, big lesson for me last week. And I'm, and I'm just, I'm grateful uh, to all of my mentors and all of the people that are in my corner um, that continue to push me. So that was one, one good thing that I wanted to update you on from last week. The other thing is a good, good friend of mine has offered to throw me a teacher shower. And so I'm super excited about that. So I've got to start making a list of things that I need in my classroom um, and things that I just need to kind of get me started so that I'm not having to come out of pocket as much. Um, that, that was one of the things that she said the Lord put on her heart to bless me with this shower so that I'm not coming out of pocket. Um, as much as I probably would have. Um, so I'm just super grateful for her and I'm excited for that. So I'm gonna start making my list this week. And so I'll share that with you all too. But I'm getting a notification that my groceries are ready. So I'm gonna go make that um, pick up and I will check back in with you all later. All right. Look at how pretty the clouds look today. Hey y'all, it's Tuesday. Um, my knee is still bothering me, so I'm having to settle for a walk. Uh, but I decided that I wanted some vitamin D. So even though it's warm out here because I got a late start, I think the vitamin D will do me good. It'll help to keep me in a good mood all day. help me be as productive as I can for the rest of the day. Later, after my walk, I'm gonna color my hair and go by the barbershop. And so I'll probably show you what it looks like after. All right, let me put my music on and get to humping. Anyway, I have colored my hair. It's probably hard to see, um, but I also went to the barbershop and got my fade tightened up. So, I'm happy that I made the time to do it because I sure didn't want to, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. When you look good, you feel good, and you're more productive, uh, at least for me, that's the case. So I had to make the time to get my hair tightened up. What I wanna do, speaking of hair, and just kinda speaking of productivity, uh, I need to do everything that I can to make my mornings easy. So I'm gonna be playing around with <clears throat> different hairstyles over the next several weeks to see what would work for the school year. And one of the things that I want to try is um, the butterfly faux locks. Um, I saw a video here on YouTube where someone ordered the hair right off of Amazon and did them herself. Um, it was a crochet method and they looked really, really good. Now, the only thing I'm not sure about is since my sides are shaved, both sides I'm not sure how it will look on me which is why I want to try it this summer <laughs> so that I can tell whether or not it's gonna work um, so I'm gonna have my, my little cousin who uh, does braids and 
and twists and all that good stuff. I'm gonna have her do it for me. I'm gonna actually pay her to do mine and my son's. My son's hair needs to be twisted as well. Um, so yeah, hopefully that'll be one style that I can use. If not, I'm gonna just have to resort to my 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 top knot, my teacher bun, because that's what's easiest. Um, and I think it kind of looks cute with my shaved sides. So we'll see. So in who I am on my way to my son's baseball game. It's so funny. I was talking earlier today about how I needed. I just felt like I needed some vitamin D. I wanted, you know, to make sure that I was setting myself up for a good day, putting myself in a good mood. Hon, I forgot that we had a double header tonight. It is 93 degrees <laughs> and we have a double header uh, tonight. So I'm gonna get plenty of vitamin D by the time the day is over. So I think that's probably all I'll share for today and I'll check back in later in the week. I hope you guys are having a great productive week. Talk to you soon. Hey friends, hey, so it is now Wednesday. I am just leaving a, a meeting, a staff meeting at my home theater. So we got to wrap up a few things uh, for a, an event that we have coming up this weekend, which is our Black Playwrights Festival. So I am excited about that. I get to be a judge this year, so I'm super excited about it. Um, and then I still need to cast one character for the play that I am uh, directing this fall so I'm a little anxious about that and I'm wondering how I'm gonna do it um, I'm trying to do it in a way that where I don't have to recast more than one role because the person I'm thinking about I think I might have to move some people around move some actors around but we'll see um, and then what else is going on I think that's pretty much it I um when I get back to the house, I'm actually on my way to a recycling center. Our city does not collect our recyclables anymore. And so we have to collect them ourselves and drop them off at a recycling center. So I'm on my way there. But when I get back to the house, I have got to hit um, hit the ground running and um, make some, some strides on this research. Hold on. I got my phone propped up. <laughs> but uh, not for turns. Okay, anyway, so yeah, I, I've got to get some work done on this research project. So I think I'll just show you what that looks like in our platform that we're using, which is Asana. Um, I'll kind of show you the, the items that have been tasked to me. And then I need to get to work. I need to get to work, y'all. So. That's really it. Just wanted to check in midweek um, and say hi. <laughs>
their serving size was seven chips. So I literally had to count out seven chips. I've already had a few of them. So that's what I'm having with the soup. Here's the soup. Here's what it looks like. I've got some, um, some uh, what is that called? Sriracha. sriracha, yeah. I've got some sriracha on top. And so I'm thinking now that I look at it and, and I see how it's filling up this bowl, I really do think it is going to fill me up. So I may not have needed the chips after all, but what ifs? But I'm tracking all of this on my fitness pal. That's what I've decided to do to lose these pounds over the next few weeks uh, to see if I can just put myself in calorie deficit and hopefully that works. So I'm putting this in my fitness pal and I'm gonna sit down and enjoy it. All right, check back in with you later. Okay, everyone, so I made it up to my office and I hope I can get some work done. It just started raining though. So I'm going to be tempted just to sit here and stare off into space and enjoy the rain. That's usually what I like to do. I love to sit by the window and read while it's raining. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to try to stay focused. Um, I just wanted to share this platform with you real quick. It's called Asana, and it's a project platform that is used to assign tasks and have a team collaborate together and be able to track uh, what work is being done by whom and what the due date is. So over here in the uh, menu, when I click on my picture, I have three different workspaces that come up. One of them I've titled Casey Melting Pot, uh, which is my home theater. This last one is uh, just another one that, uh, another random one that I've started called Theater Education. And then this uh, one in the middle here is the one that we're using on, on this research team. So I just kind of wanted to show you uh, what I'm working with and how I'm able to kind of manage all of the different tasks that have been assigned to me. So like this first one, um, I'm part of the social media team at my home theater and I do have a task that's, that was assigned to me. I need to create a video uh, to thank our, our uh, patrons for participating in our last book club discussion. And so our social media coordinator uh, created this, this assignment for me and asked me to make a short video just thanking people for attending the last book club discussion and telling them which selection is next. So I actually um, get to check this off of my list because I just created that video. And it tells me, I actually thought I was uh, late on this, but it's due on Friday. And so I'm able to click that off a couple of days early. So I'm grateful for that. I have one less thing on my to-do list. And then when I switch um, workspaces up here, Okay, so I switched to the workspace for the research team that I'm collaborating with. I've got some sticky notes on the screen just because I want to cover up other people's names and other sensitive uh, items. I'm not quite sure what I can say on social media and I definitely don't want to violate my contract with them. So I'm just covering up a few things. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that I've got three playwrights assigned to me that I need to complete my research on to contribute to the team. And so my next three playwrights are Amiri Baraka, Francis Mbuga, and Zulu Sofala. So those are actually tasks, as it says, those tasks are due soon. So I need to get to cracking. So again, I just wanted to share this uh, project platform with you all, this project tool. Um, it's a free resource. Uh, I, there are some upgrades that you can pay for, but so far in every group that I've used this tool for, we've been able to get away with using the free, uh, the free version of it. So it's just a really great, uh, it's just a really great way to keep track of who's doing what, what the deadlines are, and all of the individual categories and subcategories that go with each task. So just sharing another free tool for you. We like all the tools that are free 99, right? <laughs> so hope this was helpful. Hey, you all. So it is now Thursday. I am uh, sitting in my office. I'm sitting in my new favorite chair. I don't know if I ever showed you guys this chair that I bought. Um, I did a video on decluttering my office. And I remember telling you that I wanted to... Um, get a chair for this corner to kind of create myself another little reading nook. And so I found this chair at Nebraska Furniture Mart and it was the floor model. So it was a really good price. So I came home, I deep cleaned and sanitized it and stuck it right in this corner. And I love it. It fits really well with the rest of the furniture and the decor in the room. But anyway, so 
I was sitting here. Can I put this here? Okay, that might not be the best because now I'm backlit with that window right there, but I'm tired of holding the camera. Um, so I had an epiphany. I had an epiphany. Uh, I tend to get a little overwhelmed with the sheer amount of, of things that I'm trying to, to juggle and accomplish. Uh, the projects that I'm involved in and the, the jobs that I, that I accept. Um, and I don't want, you know, my mental health to be affected. I don't want to increase my stress levels. I don't want to take time away from my family. But sometimes I, I know that I tend to, when I get overwhelmed at the number of things on my to-do list for each category, I tend to almost kind of bury my head in the sand. And there are some days where I'm so overwhelmed at what I have to do that I don't do anything. Like I, I can't even wrap my head around doing any of it. And that's not good either. That's not good time management. So I just had a time management epiphany. And between all of the things that I'm trying to juggle, which, which is number one, my family, my home, trying to keep it clean, trying to keep dinner on the table, um, trying to prioritize my family schedule. Um, so that's a huge thing. I'm also trying to get prepared for this fall, being a new teacher, getting my classroom ready, getting my curriculum ready. And then uh, the theater gigs that I do have, that I have taken on between uh, my home theater and then the research project and then just other little gigs that I'm able to pick up. Um, and then also my side business, uh, and, uh, and then, um, uh, YouTube, uh, just because I enjoy, I do enjoy creating videos. It, it allows me to kind of, um, play around with that creative side e even more so than the other areas. And then the last thing is my own personal development, like my own reading, like picking up a book that I just love, the genres that I love to read, which are suspense and romance, and just being able to have a moment for myself. So between all of those things, I find myself saying like, ideally, I want to be able to dedicate two hours to this today, or I want to be able to dedicate an hour to this, 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 and this. And, and I try to set my day up that way. And it never works out. Like it never works out that way because life just gets in the way. And then I get discouraged. And then I end up not doing any of the things on my to-do list. Anyway, my epiphany was if I could just do one thing in each of those categories every day, and maybe that thing is only going to take 10, 15 minutes. Maybe I'm not able to, to pour in an hour into, you know, this particular task for today. But if I can just knock off one thing, check off one thing off of my list in that category for the day, I think I will feel more accomplished and I will feel more productive. So I just... I just had that epiphany and I thought, you know what, let me share it. Let me write it down. Let me put it in my planner and try to block off my days in this way going forward and just kind of make myself a checklist and commit to doing one thing that will push myself forward in this area. One thing that will push myself forward with getting my chores done or preparing dinner for the family. One thing that will push myself forward in preparing for the classroom this fall. One thing that pushes me forward in my side business. If I can just keep that logic and, um, you know, just kind of order my day in that way, I think that will help. I think that will help. So anyway, just, <laughs> uh, I just had a light bulb moment and just wanted to share it. Um, I think I will end the weekly video here uh, because it's it's I'm noticing that it's gotten pretty long for this week and I don't ever want it to be too, too long. So I think I will end with some pictures. We have a Black Playwright Festival coming up this weekend at my home theater uh, where there are three playwrights that will be competing for the grand prize, which is a full production of their play which is extremely exciting and something that nobody else is doing here in our area, in our, in our part of the country, especially for black playwrights. 
Um, so it's pretty dang on exciting. Um, so I think I will just share some pictures from the festival this weekend and I will end it here. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this video this week of just kind of my interest and my to-do list <laughs> and the things that I am um, concentrating on this summer uh, as I prepare to be a classroom theater teacher. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, I invite you to subscribe. That's going to help my channel grow and just help me to kind of be able to share my love of theater, my love of black art um, with whomever <laughs> chooses to be entertained by me. <laughs> um, so that's all that I have for you. Uh, I hope you enjoy your weekend and I hope you are spending time with the people and the things that bring you joy. Bye.